Our initial trek to Utah began on an early Thursday morning. We had a several hour drive from Denver to make it to our starting point of the trip. It would be a long first day of travel, but I knew the reward would be worth it. Our trip began along Beef Basin Road. As soon as we arrived, we were greeted with some beautiful canyon scenery. find a camp spot after a long day of driving. We looked for a while and were concerned that we weren't going to find a spot. We drove a few miles and finally stumbled across an awesome camp spot. We settled into camp, started a fire, and had a few beers to unwind. But exhausted from a day's worth of driving, it wasn't long before we decided to call it a day to get some sleep. Good morning. So we are about 40 miles south of Moab. Uh, just out in the canyons right now. Just waking up, uh, having some coffee. The plan today is to head south towards uh, LaSalle National Forest and see what kind of adventure we can seek out. Take a, what are you hoodlums eating over here? Take a picture of my messy kitchen. <laughs> what you cooking, man? A messy kitchen is a delicious kitchen. Ooh, the pancakes. Empire pancakes. Nice. Sweet croissant. croissant. The next morning we hit the trail early, as we had about a hundred miles to cover over the next three days.
The landscape began to change as we ventured deeper into Monte La Salle National Forest. The Monte La Salle National Forest in central Utah has some of the most diverse terrains in the southwest United States. One moment, you'll be in red rocks of the desert, and almost magically, you're in the pines and aspens of the mountains. There's this scenic overlook called the Notch. Utterly gorgeous. Elk Ridge travels through dense forests with sporadic views of the canyons within the dark canyon wilderness. The trail is remote, the camping is primitive, and the nights are tranquil. The only sounds you're likely to hear are the bugles of the elk. break at the Notch Overlook, we continued south to Bearsers Pass for a quick pit stop to take a look around. with our friend Sylvester and anticipating his arrival later, we made one last stop at Natural Bridges National Monument before finding camp for the night. Declared a national monument in 1908, Utah's first national monument was Natural Bridges. Shaped by running water and derived from 260 million year old Cedar Mesa sandstone, the three rock bridges in the monument are thought to be about 5,000 years old. Before the bridges formed, the area of natural bridges was a beach of dazzling white sand, shoreline to the sea covering eastern Utah. Over time, water spread and receded, depositing layers of sand, silt, and mud. These stunning rock bridges have Hopi Indian names, Owachomo, Sipapu, and Kachina. The delicate Owachomo means rock mounds. The massive Kachina means dancer, while Sipapu the second largest natural bridge in the state means place of emergence. There is ample evidence that ancient people occupied this complex system of canyons from about 500 BC until about 1270 AD. The earliest inhabitants probably lived in pit houses on top mesas, while later ancestral Puebloans built cliff dwellings that can still be seen today. We continued around the nine mile loop of the monument, witnessing each bridge as we drove through. Then we headed out to find a camp spot. Well, we made it to camp just outside Natural Bridges National Monument, which is an incredible place. Getting set up for the evening. Had a pretty spacious spot. And there's going to be one more person joining us tomorrow morning. This is home for the evening. At my setup, door and tent, and then west behind that. Howdy. Never hits the ground, it seems. By evaporating instantaneously.
There. Jumbo. We spent some time chilling around the campfire, which by the way is probably the biggest fire pit I've ever seen. What do we got over here? Got somebody. Somebody's trespassing. Morning, fellers. Coffee. Coffee time. Butterscotch coffee or Alex Becker coffee. Oh. I'm brewing up some Guatemalan, Brazil, and Colombian blend coffee. <laughs> <laughs> guys so we're set up out here at camp just outside natural bridges national monument and that is just an incredible place today's plan is to just uh, head east towards landing um, and we're gonna check out some of these ruins one of them is called the house on fire which we hope to get out and take a little hike to go see and then we'll continue heading north up towards where we started and kind of round off the trip. We finished up breakfast and rolled out of camp to our next destination, the Mule Canyon Wilderness Area. Join us in the next episode where we run into a very unexpected detour. <laughs>